Yeah, I thought, okay. You know, I mean, we have to, there's a lot of things we have to improve on. Um, but, you know, I thought that he, he got through and, um, you know, there were some things that, uh, you know, obviously we'd like to get him to football more. Um, but, you know, give, give their defense credit. I think that they, they played extremely hard, made it difficult for us. Um, you know, I thought there were some things there um, then just, you know, through Ryan not having some time or, Whatever it may be that that allowed us, forced us to to not be able to get get the ball downfield. Interceptions, just what you're looking for in response to the turnover. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's uh, it's a little better way to do it. Um, really, really proud of our defensive coaches, our defensive staff, and you know, this team moved the ball on us the last time we played. They they have some some, some talent. We understand uh, that they're a talented uh, team offensively. You know, Chenault's always played well against us. Robinson has. Uh, the quarterbacks you know, talented and you know really proud of the way that they um, played obviously and then coached they do you know it's the first one that we've had at, at home since 2000 and um, I think that um, that was certainly something that they all wanted um, and and it was you know some guys that really you know finishing off that game uh, that hadn't you know maybe had a much chance to play. Uh, this season, and you know, it was good to see those guys out there and you know contributing and, and being excited. You guys had a touchdown first drive offensively, two sacks defensively. How critical was it, especially coming off the bye, to have a start like that? Yeah, you know, teams you know, have got, you know, had a fast start against them previously. Uh, we thought that that would be important. Um, you know, we missed the kick. You know, I think that that's, but again, that's where we, you know, we, we got to fight through the fringe. We kind of stalled there a few times. That's unfortunate. You know, you do all the hard work uh, to get there, and then um, and we're not able to continue that drive. So um, a lot of good things today, uh, a lot of things that we'll have to get corrected. But, you know, I, th I thought we, you know, just from, from my view over there, especially defensively, that it looked like there was some speed. And uh, who in who might not get a chance. What's it like for the guys who who get to come out early, they're waving towels. I saw you with your arm around yeah, they, They're excited, you know what I mean? They're excited for these guys. They're in meetings with them all day. You know, they practice with them. They're in the locker room all day. So, you know, for other guys to go in there and to get an opportunity to make plays uh, to help their team, you know, I know that that, that means a lot. And they, they support those guys, and, and they're, they're just as excited as everybody else is. Not turning it over on offense, obviously, is a big deal, whether you're scoring off the turnovers or not, how big a part of that. Right? part of your success was based off that. Well, it always is, Buck. I mean, there's, there's no better uh, indicator of success in this league uh, than turnover margin. You can say what you want and look it up over 20 years. And uh, so it's real critical that we, we realize that that's how we have to play. Uh, we have to be efficient when we throw the football. We have to be able to run it, and we have to be able to stop it and affect their quarterback. And, and we did uh, all three of those things today. Now. You know, I think we'd all say that the run game needs to be better, but there were some, you know, some cuts that we missed, and then there's some blocks that we missed, and you know. But I thought guys were, you know, especially we got down there. I think the best run that we had was down in on the red zone, you know, being able to run it in. Looked like there was a, a really, really nice surge there, good push off the line of scrimmage. You know, Deontay put his foot in the ground, got downhill, and that's that's hard to do, especially down in the red zone. In that area, how, how big can that be for your confidence of the offense to be able to run like that? Israel? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. It's hard to, you know, there's not a lot of space when you throw it, you know. So um, any time that you can run it in uh, down there and in and, and tight quarters uh, is a huge boost. And I think you saw the excitement that, that obviously we all had. You know, Nate's finishing somehow, they, you know, they throw his helmet off or it comes off or whatever. And, you know, there was, I thought that that was a huge uh, just – Huge start to the game for us. What led to the influx of turnovers on defense? Is it a myriad of causes? Just a lot of things going well? I mean, you put the guy under pressure and he makes mistakes, and you can only throw it out of bounds so many times. And I thought Buster had a fantastic um, play there in zone coverage, being able to squeeze back, and you know, they're trying to hit one in there behind him. Um, you know, but it's about the ability to affect the quarterback and and make them make bad decisions. I thought that I thought the the the, the empty execution uh, with the pressure was something that we had practiced all week, and 
Uh, I think that that's a great example of something maybe not looking great on Wednesday uh, or even Thursday and then continuing to work on it, coach it, explain it, rep it, and, uh, you know, Jayon executed that perfectly. Did you know you today? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think with first glance, Corey, probably I didn't see guys diving around, jumping off the diving board, falling on the ground. Um, so, yeah, you know, I mean, I thought Elijah did and, you know, those guys, Harold, for example, you see those, some of those open field tackles where, you know, that, that could be uh, a lot of yards where we gave up a lot the last time we played these guys. And so I think those, those were just some instances that I can remember. Uh, Jayon broke on a, uh, check down. Roby came flying in uh, with with a really physical hit. Um, Elijah had another one. You know, I'm sure I'm missing a ton, but you know they were flying around. It felt Rashawn felt him in a run game. You know, I know they called the guys forward progress, but felt him trying to rip the ball, rake the ball out, and and you know this it looked like there was a speed today that uh, was fun to watch. Shutting down their run game early kind of make them play into your hands on defense? Well, I mean, I think we all anticipated them trying to run it uh, with the success that they had um, against us previously. Um, they have good backs, obviously. Robinson, a lot of respect for him. Hyde, Chenault had been back there some, you know, trying to run the football. So, you know, I thought that that for us defensively, that was, that was the number one key defensively. To, it was to stop the run. Uh, including the quarterback run, uh, including the RPOs. I agree that that straight play was maybe as well as possible. Uh, certainly, yeah. I mean, that was, um, you know, they, that was a well-timed call for them. They were man coverage, and um, you know, Kev, Kevin just helping us out. You know, what I mean, but that's that's a great break out of the middle of the field, and and a good legal uh, physical hit, you know, to break that up. It did, yeah. I felt like uh, you could just feel it down there. It felt like guys were moving around, flying. Um, and again, it's not perfect, but you know, I felt um, like it was it was where it was maybe earlier. And I hope that the film uh, will, will indicate that as well. Ben, I know you had a question over there, but these guys are all taking it. Yeah, well, my, my question's pretty much been asked about kind of the inside linebackers sort of setting the tone, like getting the, the kind of takeaway party started. And I know Rashawn has missed five straight. Jay on the tag or something. Yeah, you know, Rashawn been working hard to get back, and it just, um, you know, hadn't been able to go. Um, but I think you saw him in there in, in a run game early. I saw him flying through, playing fast. Um, Thought he did a nice job, you know. He playing, you know, playing with the rat. You know, he was a rat on that play, and you know, he tipped the ball up. He was around it uh, where he was supposed to be, and, and made a play on it. Terrible return, but a you know, nice, nice interception. Uh, and then obviously, Jay, they were excited to be able to both have interceptions. It's, it was good. Uh, it was screens development quickly to get in. He is a professional. I mean, he has been nothing but a consummate professional. Coming in here, meeting. Uh, played inside, had to play outside today. Um, I mean, that's just, I've really enjoyed being around them. They've been a really good addition to our football team. Uh, was, was a really nice play today. Um, you know, and then we'll just, you know, work on them down the field today, you know, how or the, whatever happened today. But his, his professionalism, uh, I would say, has been up there with anybody that I can remember that we've been, that we've brought in, you know, midway through. I know you had one. We got to take care of him. I mean, we do. I mean, he he stands in there, and unfortunately, he took too many hits. But he has a command of our offense, and and really comes up with with some some great plays. And you know, we got to help him out in protection. You know, I thought the screen would have been the screen was a great pass to get it over to the blitzer, uh, but we weren't able to hang on to it. He just uh, you know he, he he leads our football team, and he is incredibly tough. And when we give them time uh, and a clean pocket, you know, that we can complete some plays.